Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Card Cafe and thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video today. I am so excited. It's all about love is coming in the air. <laughs> and I'm so excited to share with you the wonderful products from the January to June Mini 2021 Stampin' Up! Catalog. And there are just some beautiful, beautiful things to share with you. One thing today is this beautiful um, True Love Designer Series paper. Oh, you guys, it is just gorgeous. We'll be using that today. We'll also be using some fabulous dies. Um, the Always dies, as you can see, I have here. I have already some of the fine Always um, dies already cut out and then the shadow die we'll be using those today we're also going to use I have to say oh this is my ultimate favorite there's the lots of hearts stamp set which is really really nice but then there's the many hearts dies oh my gosh you guys let me show you these dies in person here they are can you believe these dies? Let me just take them out of the package so we can really see them. I am so in love with these dies. Look at this fabulous heart right here with the flowers. And I love this heart um, up uh, horizontal, uh, vertical grouping of hearts. It's just phenomenal. I've already gone ahead and I die cut out this scalloped one and then the next heart size down and I actually put that through the um, subtle embossing folder. And this is the little butterfly there. I just, it, it does not do it justice sitting here and looking at it in the catalog. I had an open house uh, for the January to June mini catalog and it's just, oh my gosh, you guys, when you get to see these things in person, so here's the um, Lots of Hearts stamp set. And then the Love Always, Forever and Always stamp set. They're Love and Always, they have the stamps. But then there's also the dies that have the shadows. So this is the, this is the die set here with the Love. I have the Always shadow die and the fine line Always um, there as well. So what we're going to do today is, uh, you know, I shared another video with um, doing an easy shaker card. And you might remember, here, I'll just pull that one back in, but I had done this happy birthday shaker card, simple shaker card using the, th um, the clear envelopes. And um, I wanted to do that again today. So it's going to be so much fun. So what I've done, let me take a, take a look here is I've got some pieces. This is an eight and a half by 11 basic black cut at um, four and a quarter, not cut, uh, scored at four and a quarter. A real red piece at five and a quarter by four. And then this is a piece of that beautiful um, forever and always um, designer series paper specialty. It is just gorgeous. Um, and this one is cut at three and three quarters by five. And those are going to be my layers today. Now, the other thing that we're going to be using, because it is a shaker card, we're going to be using the sequins for everything. This is found in the annual catalog, and we have some beautiful, beautiful sequins here. We're going to use this that has the real red and flirty flamingo, and then this here has some gold and silver accents. This is really fun. This has got gold and then almost like a... Oh, I don't know it's some it's a type of a bit of an orange so I think it as fall and then the green is so fun I think it has soft sea foam in there and um, and the brilliant maybe a shaded spruce not quite sure so we're gonna use those today and if you have an embossing buddy that might be a good idea because as you can see the sequins <laughs> like to grab onto you don't they so I'm going to grab my clear envelope and I'm going to grab my powder so I can get rid of that static, right? Okay, so I am gonna use a little embossing buddy here. I don't think Stampin' Up! sells these anymore, but 
My husband also has his bowling uh, little powder uh, chalk, and you can use that too. Isn't that funny? So we're going to just do a little of that because things can get a little sticky. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my designer series paper to the real red. One of the things that um, I'm noticing and I'm trying to see how this will work today is when I did that other shaker card here, you see I don't have an additional layer. The designer series paper was cut at five and a quarter uh, by four um, and that's the first layer. So I'm wondering when I get my shaker card going here if that's going to affect something. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put this down in your clear envelope. So yes, Stampin' Up! has these wonderful clear envelopes and they're perfect for this. And now that I have it all the way down to the corner and bottom, I want to make sure it's in there tight. I'll go ahead and take my sequins now and I'm going to put a little bit of them in here. So it's the best way for me to do that. I'm going to hold that open, take a pinch, and just drop it in. Then I'm going to take a pinch of the gold and drop it in. So now when I do that, I can see how much I have and what I might want more of. And I think I'm going to want a little bit more of our reds. I might even want a little bit more of our golds. It's a lot of sequins. You really just need a little pinch for a couple more maybe. There we go. So then what I'm going to do is to set it down and I'm going to fold over. There we go. I'm going to fold that over like so. And you know, I don't want to do it super, super tight. I want to leave a little bit of air in there <laughs> so that the sequins have a chance to move all around. You know, that still doesn't look like enough sequins to me. So I'm going to open up and just add just a little bit more. I think I want a little bit more of the gold. And, and a little more of that too. I'm feeling kind of glitzy today. <laughs> oh, I just had a fun day of an open house yesterday, for, like I was saying, for the January to June mini and celebration. It was virtual because I can't have people joining me in person. See, and isn't that fun? It's shaking, they're shaking. They will get caught a little bit on each other, but that's okay. Now what I want to do with this excess is I'm going to fold this over and tape it down. And I'm looking and I don't see my little scotch tape right there. So I'm going to go ahead and simply use my stamp and seal. And I'm just going to fold that over on itself. Just like that. That works out just fine. Not a problem. So there we go. And now I've got all my shakers and my beautiful sequins in there. And isn't that beautiful on that paper? So let's get going with the rest of this. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful card. I had so much fun yesterday, though. There was door prizes. Lots of people got prizes and things. And my sister-in-law and I, we actually tried starting this project. And we thought, wouldn't it be fun to make a shaker card, the easy shaker card, where you don't need the foam strips, you don't need the window sheets, you simply need your clear envelope to start making a fun shaker. And so we started playing around with this and figuring out how we might go about doing it. So um, I'm not going to die cut out because I already have that die cut it out. But I do want to show you my, um, I'm going to use black for the always to go across this pink heart. And um, because it is a thin line cursive lettering, I want to, come on, I want to have adhesive sheets because then I do not need any glue. And so Stampin' Up! has their adhesive sheets and I actually just cut it the same width as my black scrap that I had and I'm going to put that right down. I peeled off the paper and then put the sticky side down on the cardstock. 
Now I'm going to turn this over because my die is going to go right here. So I'm going to get the thin line die and that's going to go here. The adhesive sheet's on the back and so it'll be on the back of the lettering when I die cut it out. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that quick. I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now with any new product it does have a little bit of getting used to I'd have to say and that's just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. I'm going to put my um, my plate that I keep on the bottom down. Then my always die. And then my other number three plate. Now one of the things that I want you to know about, oop, we have to have that on there right, is that sometimes this doesn't like to go through straight. And that's when my, my plates get a little bit warped. So what you have to do with your plates, you guys, if you don't know this, you want to turn your plates around and put them in that way. Always go through your machine, the full rotation through. Don't go back and forth, back and forth. That will warp your plates more. Turn your plates upside down and put them through. And for this, what I like to do is I'm gonna just tilt it on an edge, just on, a little bit on the corner and see how that grabbed it just perfectly. Now, you do have to hold it down because it is a light machine. <laughs> and so it is gonna slide and it's on my stamping mat, you guys. So my stamping mat's all slippery slidey. And that's just it. I find that when I just take it and it's not wanting to grab, because can you see, you can see that little gap there? So I can squeeze at the top and I can just take this corner and kind of just do a little tilt and run it through and it took it no problem. So it's just like I said, you have to play with new products, get to know them, but it is a fantastic little machine. It's not as cumbersome and perfect for something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my little stylus here to pop out the always. Well, come on, little guy. I had you there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, that has adhesive on the back side, which is going to make it super easy to glue things on. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And, you know, I was wondering if this might be a nice a nice thing to go across. But I've already glued this down, so that's not going to do it. I, if I was going to do it, I would have had to have done it beforehand. So I won't do that. <laughs> it just kind of came to me. But that's a very pretty new ribbon. That's part of the mega suite of the um, Love Always. Mega suite. So that's going to go right in the center of the heart. Now what happens, you guys see, I still have some little pieces that didn't come out. Well, because I have the adhesive on the back, I don't have to worry about it. I can just let that stay there because once I get this apart, mm -hmm. <laughs> always getting them apart is the hardest part. Once I get it apart and peel off the adhesive um, paper, it pulls off out those little pieces all by the itself. So I don't have to fight with them. Now what I want to do is I want to take a minute, put this down a little bit how I want it. There it goes, always. Just like that. Very nice. Now, another product that we have that I thought might be really cute. And see, I have more adhesive on the back here, so I won't throw this away because I can use it maybe to do another always or some other um, die. We have these cute little hearts that came out of the Snail It uh, suite of products. There's some little red ones and little white ones, and I thought they would be really cute to add onto the, the heart, maybe. We'll see. I'm trying to decide if I want to pull some more of, oops, Pull some more of the white out and I could put a cute little white heart right here. Let's try that and see. Is that cute little white heart? And I'm going to take that off and put it back over here and I'm going to see what the red heart looks like. Cute little red heart. Oh see I kind of like the red heart. 
I just think that red heart looks better. I think the, the white just looked too white, but I like that little one just right there on that of the, of the always, of the A. I think that's really cute. So these are really cute. These are called resin hearts and they're in the snailed it suite of products. Those are really cute. Okay. Now, what about, what about a bow or something with this? Or is that just too much? Maybe that's just too much. I think it's good just like that. Well, the other thing that I have is, of course, we always want to do an inside, right, of a card. We always want to take the time to do that. And I'm looking for my inside of my card. And where did it go? Oh, my goodness. So there's that one. I'm going to bring the happy birthday back for you to see. Just see how cute those are. And finally, found my inside. Yeah, I mean, just you can do them for any occasion. You let the designer series paper be the star, but I thought, my gosh, you guys, how fabulous is this paper? This paper is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Do, 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 do. Oh, I think that was the McDo little McDonald's uh, tune. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> That's so funny. Now, in this stamp set, always in my heart, which is part of the big mega suite, um, in the January to June mini, there's this cute little set of hearts that I want to pull out and use. And I'm going to do that with our flirty flamingo because it's so cute. This is a big block, but that's okay. So my little flirty flamingo is going to go right like so. <gasps> Look how cute those are. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, always. All, you are always in my heart. The best kind of friend is you, is like you. Always. The best kind of friend is the kind like you. Always. Here's to another year of happily ever after. Always. You are always in my heart. I want to do that one. You are always in my heart. Because... That can be for get well. That can be for thinking of you. Things like that. I don't think it'll bother me having those hearts like that. <laughs> it's interesting on the back of the gold, um, gold little sequins. I think there are white ones. I'm seeing. I'm seeing some little white ones which I thought they were silver, but they are white. Now I inked that up and I stamped it off because it was the first time I'd be using that, the stamp. And I also want to make sure that I have it on here straight. Oh, that's a nice font, isn't it? So you are always in my heart. So there it is. There is that simple, simple shaker card using the clear envelopes and I love the little glossy look it gives it and I can't tell you I am just blown away by this die set it is just so so beautiful I'm going to share it one more time with you here it is oh this is part of the lots of hearts bundle isn't that just great and this one die, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, this one right here in the heart, it actually die cuts out this little flower arrangement. There's just so many wonderful things in this die set, you guys. I can't even tell you. It's just awesome. Okay, so there's that one. Now let me do show you. I do have another one using a little bit different of the desi same designer series paper, but just one of the other, one of the other um, pieces from it. So the, this one that I did, has a much whiter and the flowers are farther apart and you can see all those fun fun sequins a lot more sequins in that one and then this one here where the flowers and there's more are closer together and the black um, background is is more prevalent 
but I do like that little red heart I did there. I'm gonna put a little red heart on this one too. Oh, so anyway, if you guys want to, you can go in the link below and um, there'll be a link to um, upcoming classes. I do Facebook Live every Wednesday at 6. You can find me at Mary's Cafe, Mary's Card Cafe, excuse me, um, on Wednesdays at 6 Pacific Time. Oh, yeah, those little hearts are so cute. Um, there's also links for my blog where you'll be able to see more information on this card and the supplies that I used. And I have some specials always happening so if you would subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any notifications on when i post a new video i appreciate so much of you watching um share if you would give me a thumbs up and let me know what else you'd like to see from me i'd be happy to uh stamp and do some things that you would like to see so until next guy ne wow it's been a Fun weekend. Until next time, guys, happy stamping.